Hello everyone, Digfink here and welcome! Today we are actually going to be playing some Metro Exodus. I have never played a Metro game. Uh, some people commented a while ago saying you should check it out, we'd like to see you play it. And I've heard about them, I've heard they're good games, and I just never, for whatever reason, never got around to it. Um, there is a game here I'm going to override, but all I did was load into the very first area. I haven't even watched any cutscenes just to set up ui and all that fancy stuff and like oh ranger hardcore I've, other people have done it apparently on youtube um so it's doable i don't know if it's doable for me but we're gonna find out here because you know fuck it we're doing ranger hardcore mode um back by is retained in its entirety the mode removes the hud completely this mode removes hints, crosshairs, auxiliary interface elements complete. I don't know what auxiliary interface elements are in this game. Making key control and interaction elements transparent while retaining the backpack interface. In its um, the fact that I've never played one of these probably going to mean this is a bad idea because I won't know what to interact with, how to interact with it or anything about it. But YOLO. So what do we got here? I don't even fully know what these games are about. Their life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there on the surface. Surface is nice. We used to be the masters of the whole world. That's nice also. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We did. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. Of all the lucky times for this train to go into a tunnel, The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. It's true. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, you doubt that, but it might but, be. Regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. Always them factions, gangs, and groups, and sectioning us off and fighting In each the other. The relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered, and when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our number is dwindling by the day. It's afraid this game is going to have monsters and things in it. Never been a big fan of scary or but horror I games. I remember we were born for a better life. We'll get through it. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it.
One, that city is an absolute ruin, and two... Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. <sighs> so we come out of a tunnel, but we're like... It's gotta be like a thousand plus feet in the air overlooking this city. Question mark? Whatever. Cinematic, it's fine, it doesn't actually hope. What I've seen in this game, it looks really freaking good. Um don't know how much I'm gonna super enjoy being scared to shit out of, but you know, for the tubes, you do what you gotta do. Slow slow going down. It's a gargoyle looking thing. Guarantee I'm gonna have to fight those damn things. City's a freaking ass. At least there's no car lights on. Haha, <laughs> division. Wink. So absurd. We got some armored cars, several vehicles, a tank. It's kind of wedged up in here. Got some. Did I kill all these beasts? Oh, I must have. Thing is cracked. Backpack. All right, guys, I got it. Throw the shot a little. Very impressive. Like, I mean, I guess if this is my normal entrance, I would keep it pretty um, iced off. But like, you guys have tried opening a frozen car door. How hard that is? Could you imagine doing that to a manhole? Also, you should shut the door, but that's fine. But then you might not ever get it open again. So. Kind of a touche on that one. Standing on liquid. This sounds like Gyro. Guy. Wow. Cannot say that word. Geiger counter? Is that what they are? I don't know what that sounds like. Um. Don't know how to tell. Whoa. Okay. If I use my mouse wheel, it actually moves the. My left screen browser window. How do I open tab to see my stuff? Hints. Um, as you encounter gameplay, I want section update with more in depth. Flashlight, flashlight is vital to gear and help dark. Even scare face some of the mutants. Just don't forget that you know it's on. So far, F is flashlight. Turns a little light on my glove too. It's like an indicator that it's on. That's really, really cool. These guys, no. Still, the Geiger counter sounds in games like this usually do not mean good things. You know, just just because I have all this crap turned off, I should really, really look at controls. Crouch, space, jump, sprint, shift, whoa. Um, walk is X. Toggle crouch is Z, okay. Run toggle mouse three, sprint toggle mouse four. Um, hopefully I'm never on Discord with someone while playing this game. Kind of my push to talk button. But either way, we were looking at controls here. Keyboard. Miscellaneous. Quick load, F9, quick save, F5, photo mode. Does that work while I'm here? Oh, button mashed F5. No freaking clue. Um, not sure if ranger mode turns off all that stuff. Usually it does. Games like this. Should probably like actually just look at all these. One, two, three, fire. That's all obvious. Reload, secondary attack is throw secondary C. Melee attack V, interact E, holster H, weapons inventory. Oh. G, backpack is hold I, swap filters T, light slash charger, lighter L, it, vision benign. 
Okay, I'm not gonna remember all this shit, but like, it's good to know. That for like when my flashlight runs out of battery, so I have some form of light. I've got a door there. Looks like I'm at two, two rounds is all I've got for this shotgun. I have no idea what happened to these fellows. Is this thing okay? So this is one of those up-down push cart looking things, or so it seems. I'm confused. So if I go in the dark, that light turns out. If I go in the sun, that light turns on. Does my battery have like a. I have like a battery pack on me that solar charges. I don't know what it looks like. That's like RPing shit. Old eye to open backpack can't do that. So, yes, we guess we're gonna open the door. I heard sounds coming from in here. What could go wrong? Yep. I don't want to walk in this hallway. Seems like a terrible, terrible fucking place to be. Um, the flashing lights, the dead people, the zombie sounds. Okay. Walking through spider webs slows you down. Check and right, check and left. Um. Oh, I mean, there's nothing big in here. There were a whole bunch of little things, though. Harvest you? No. I don't. Again, I really don't know a whole lot about these games. Really kind of blind in this one here. Um, so what was the point of letting me come in here? I mean, this path comes through here. Boards go across. Oh, there's another door over here. I gotcha. I gotcha, game. Here's why there's so many dead people in these sewers. Um. And I heard terrible sounds in this direction. I've got like these Fallout vibes in my mind where I just want to loot and open all these boxes. What am I doing here? Okay, now I'm at five in round, nine in mag. Okay, can I take those shells? No. That gun part? No. Okay, well that, that's a plus. A scavenge some ammo. Jump up. See the spiders. Don't per se see. So I do have Geiger counter starting to go off a wee bit here. Walk into a Well, that's a sound that no one likes to hear ever. So really loud walking around the train. Displeased by that. You a zombie? Are there zombies in this game? I don't fucking know. I literally have watched like maybe three minutes of gameplay of this game and he was shooting a bunch of people in the ups upper world surface? Surface world, not upper world. Surface world um in the latest DLC, I believe, and I was like, this looks good. So I figured I'd grab it. And then it's just the rumors I've heard. See the shadows, but I think it was just That's gunfire Guess that's probably gonna be where my first enemies are Per se Um I'd be concerned about that thing I mean it just ran the way I came from 
I'm gonna pretend I'm not concerned about it. Everything will be fine. If you ignore enemies, nothing bad can happen, right? Can I lock one of these doors behind me? That would be great. I read that. I do not know what it says. Somehow I ended up as a foreigner in a Russian country that I can't even read the damn language. That is a hefty door. I got a whole bunch of those. Also, the lack of body clean up here is ridiculous. They just don't give a shit. I got some nerves going on because I don't really want to be jump scared. That thing is big and dead. Uh, what? So you are technically not spiders, whatever these things are, because they're s <laughs> fucking shit, damn. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be one of those games. Yeah, yeah, you're big and scary. We one shot though, conserve ammo. Things fucking peachy. Be a whole bunch of them. I have to worry myself. I also don't know what that little flip book thing is that pops up on my bottom right hand corner when it I leave Geiger counter areas. How's it going, buddies? What's the play here? Okay, so you're about that easy to kill. There's only one though. Saw another one. Okay. Oh. It's gonna be like that now, is it? Um, hey. A creep. Was another you? I saw. I saw you run back there. Turn my back. I can light the candle. That's cool. I can take a book. Why is there an axe stuck in like an electric circuit? That's ammo. I'm gonna get used to what is interactable, what is not interactable. That'll happen over time. Um, I don't know what I just hit to make all that noise, but it's something I'm going to have to take caution with is actually where I walk. This will reload, see how big this magazine can go. Okay, so far I can, you can go up to 11. 11 is my max. What? Are we beat? Why did we beep? Running out of battery on my flashlight? Yes. Oh. That's a thing. I don't know how to tell the charge of my flashlight. I'm sure it has something to do with one of the gauges I have. I don't know. We're just going to be walking around in the dark, it seems. Yeah, 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 I see you guys. Which one of you is coming at me first? Left to right, left. Right's in the dark. See you. I'm at it. We're both dead. Still clear in the rear. We're still clear in the rear. Okay. Luckily, they're not bullet sponges. So that's a positive. Um... Hear more of them. Take this. Botanical Garden Station, August 14th. Don't you have anything better to do than mess with that big college? Oh, am I bothering you? We can't do anything without the welding burger. And this way, I can at least make a record. Ha! Did you hear that? Of course I did. I'm about to go deaf from their howling. Why do you want them recorded? I heard the Polish people are studying these migration patterns and whatnot. So, they are buying records and stuff, but they have to be taken properly with date and place and all that. I'll hell get the date and place correct this time. They'll read it on your gravestone. Forget this thing.
Well, when you study human eating giant monsters of doom, sometimes you pay the price. Can I catch a rat? Nope, but I can scare a rat off. And here's all their rounds, their bullet holes. Um, I want to want to know what's up with the flashlight. How do I recharge the flashlight? Kind of used it all up. So I'll play it again, or can I just pick it up? I also wanted to do options, accessibility, subtitle, speaker, title size, small. Um, well, still no. More ammo. All there was to loot there. And kind of burned all the energy in my flashlight walking around like an absolute dumbass. We have a lighter. Question is, does the lighter have fuel? Because, like, that would be a thing I would do in my game. Oh, shit. Okay, so I was curious if I could burn the spider webs, and the answer looks like it is an astounding yes, you can. I don't think I can get through that way. I'm definitely supposed to go over the train here, it looks like. Um, I have no idea how to charge, charge my flashlight at all. But either way, everyone, we're out of time for this episode. I really do appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out Metro Exodus with me. This is gonna be, I have a feeling, a. I'm gonna get scared a lot. It's gonna happen. It's fine though. We're gonna have fun. I'm gonna get through this on Ranger difficulty. The worst that's gonna happen, everyone. Do all the YouTube things like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification, watch all my content front to back, because that's the number one thing you can do to really help my analytics. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dig fig out! Fucking job. That, that dog jump scare got me. Scared me. Why did that thing just pop up again? I don't know.